Well guys, guess where I'm at? Yeah, I'm back at the cabins. Uh, went down there to his last two. There's one, this one, and there's one, and then there's another one. That's all fill. They filled all that in. That was terrible. But I come back up here to the other cabin I hadn't looked at and found another lipstick tube. That's the second one I found. I'm not cleaning this one up yet to see. I found one the other day. I didn't even film it. I've got the, the video on the camera and I've got to put it out. Uh, it was a Princess Pat. Oh, here we go. This one. I don't know. I can't read it. I'll clean it up when I get home. It's a whole intact uh, lipstick tube. Should come apart once I get it cleaned up. That one yesterday did, the other day. Alright. Alright, I'll get back with you. Well, guys, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Let me give you a little hint. I'm sure you old timers is familiar with this. These cabins, I've been going back and forth this way. All the way down, all the way down. Now, I'm going back, and I'm going up and down, up and down, up and down. And I'm really digging a little bit fewer more signals than what I did before, like in the lower range and the pull tabs and stuff, because I know there's some buffaloes. And I got a buffalo. Uh, it's uh, pretty toasty. Um, you can barely, barely see the buffalo right there. I'll have to get back with you on the date. If it even shows. The last one I dug up here, I don't even think I got a date off of it or a mint mark. This one's pretty slick too, so. But a uh, little hint for you. If you go back and you got a place that you got that you've been getting good results going one way, turn around the next day or two and start going the opposite direction, cross hatching that thing and going slow. And I think you'll get some good stuff. Anyway, this one's about six inches down. Uh is a good let's see my leshies. Yeah, it's a good it, it covered up the whole leshy. Um, so, uh, anyway, just a little hint. I'll get back with you if I get anything else. <laughs> Guys, just to prove my point, right here is where I dug the buffalo just now. I dug something up here the other day, and right beside it, I just dug a wheat penny. Uh... So, I'm telling you, go back over your spots if they're good. You never know what you'll get. All right, guys. You know, I'm just learning this V3. And had a, I was going back and forth. And uh, I hit a signal that just barely beeped. But I stopped and went over it and really slowed my coil down. And I could get a get decent penny signal. And right in the hole right amongst, you see my penny. You see my wheat. I'd say it's a wheat. Uh, let me see. No, it's a memorial, but it's an old memorial, copper memorial. But right beside it had to be this nail, old rusted nail. So for, you know, you guys that's just learning the V3, really take your time and slow your swings down. If you're getting a lot of iron, this is full of iron. This place is just, every swing you're going to get the lower range that you see the red showing up in the iron. And uh, it just happens in these old places. But uh, anyway, slow your swings down. I'm telling you, it'll make a huge difference. And um, I'm cross hatching up through here and already finding a minute ago when I dug that wheat penny, um, there was another one in the hole with it. I checked my hole again, there was another one. And I found another one since then. And then I just found that old copper penny. So check your holes or check your swing real slow and um, you'll find that old iron. But uh, take, you, take your time and I think you'll find some good stuff. All right, I'll get back with you. All right, guys, here's a wrap up. Um, like I said, I went back over, I finished up the cabins over there. I'm done with that. Um, I crossed, cross grained it, you might say, and picked up you know, some more stuff. Now I went back the other day. I didn't film it, and I picked up a few things the other day. Found a tan G T A N G E E uh, lipstick tube, um, still all in one piece. Um, trying to do it hard one-handed. It come apart. It's still. I've got another one made that I found at a place. Um, that I didn't film the other day. It was a Princess Pat. It's very similar to that one. Found old, uh, like a suspender piece or overalls or something like that. Maybe I don't know. It's pretty big though. Found a walk. I found this in three different places or uh, three different area holes. Uh, found that piece first. Then I found that piece. Then I found that piece. That's junk.
but anyway, it kind of had me excited at first. I saw all gold, and it was still gold when it came out of the ground, so hadn't been there long. Anyway, today um, I got three quarters, and of course, two of them, 65s, to my luck. Uh, that's the only way it goes for me. Anyway, uh, six dimes, I got one nickel. Uh, let's see, I got eight Wheaties today. Uh, and I'd been over that ground before, but I went the other direction and got eight more Wheaties out of there. Uh, some more coppers in the same spot. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven coppers. Uh, two, four, uh, zincs. And this was sitting right on top of the ground on another area when I was getting ready to finish up. So, anyway, always look your ground over, uh, cross over to the, you know, if you go one way, you come back later on and go back the other direction. And cross hatch it, and uh, you'll pull some more stuff out, I'm sure. I know I did. And the buffalo. Oh, I forgot my buffalo. Uh, it's real toasty. No date. A D mint mark, but it is toasty. Um, let me see if I can get that to focus a little bit better. Yeah, anyway. Real toasty. Anyway, I'm just letting you get, giving you an update. I think next time I'll go to some old home sites and... Um, start that over again so anyway appreciate you watching guys i'll get back with you